So, when did you start smoking? Uh, I was 16, I think, thereabouts. Um, Mates used to work like a paper around uh, news agents, and they just occasionally like, nick a load of cigs, and uh, they just give us a bit of free. So, to start with, I was paying nothing to smoke. And then I got addicted, and then I started having to pay because I moved to Australia. Wow! <laughs> yeah, so they got me addicted and then fucked off. <laughs> I've been dead ever since. Oh my god! Yeah. I think the same thing that made me want to try cigarettes made me want to try drugs. So it's not necessarily that the cigarettes made me try drugs, it's more that, that curiosity was always there. Like, I, I was never pressured into like doing it, I was never like, when I didn't smoke, I never. Was bullied for not doing it or anything like that. It's just the fact that like, you see your mates doing it. It's like one of these things you've been told your whole life not to do, and that in some way, I guess, just makes you want to try it even more. And the same things with drugs, because like people wouldn't do it unless there was a, a thing about it that wasn't. Active. I'm not saying that obviously it's bad for you and everything, but there are aspects of smoking that maybe not good for you. The lungs, but I find relaxing. I mean, obviously, cannabis has a stronger effect than tobacco, but, but I think tobacco is a lot more addictive. I don't know the statistics off the top of my head or whatever. It is known to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah tobacco is more addictive. Yeah, it's legal. Marijuana calms you down, actually gives you like an actual full high, like you're intoxicated from it, whereas a cigarette, I mean, you could get a nicotine rush last for a few minutes, but. It's not quite the same thing. That's the reason that I started with smoking and then went on to cannabis. It's probably just because of the, the levels of it, illegality. So I was 16 when I started smoking, so I shouldn't be buying them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's still kind of easy to get hold of. And then there's the curiosity that drove me to do it. And then weed is obviously illegal, but it's not hard to get. So then it's the curiosity that drove me to do it. And it's just how difficult different things are to get hold of. So you can understand how a normal smoker could move on to cannabis, yeah. but do you think there's a correlation between someone smoking and then sniffing cocaine? Because that's a different action. Yeah, um, there's a correlation between the two, but then it would be the same correlation as between cannabis and cigarettes, as in it's not one that makes you, you don't take one and suddenly think, Hey, what well, this one's like? You take one because you're that way inclined to curiosity. It's like drugs are this sort of weird realm. Alcohol is like the tip of the iceberg, that's the legal one. But in reality, there's this a whole other load of them do all variety. When I think of myself smoking, I like. In the context of our society, like it's frowned upon and all that, and we're trying to eradicate it. But that's only been happening for about the past 20 years that people have really been proper on this case. You go past back there to like, the Native Americans, they've been smoking tobacco out of pipes for fucking years, they'll smoke anything they can find. It's just like, it's the same way we eat things to discover things, we smell, it's just another experience, another way of sort of, I don't know, it's like scientists discovered gravitational waves by playing around with all these different mad things. If you don't go out and experience these things or play around with stuff, it's just human nature to do it, isn't it?